So, do you think you benefit from pretty privilege or ugly privilege? I think I walk a fine line. <laughs> First of all, I didn't even know that ugly privilege was a thing until a couple days ago. No, I didn't think it. I, it never crossed my mind. But I, again, that's with me going with that. I walk, I walk the midline is what I've always thought. So Yeah, I, I think for myself, like, I feel like I'm like on both sides of the spectrum. Like, I feel like I myself feel like I'm a relatively good looking person, but that's not necessarily the perception of the rest of the world. Like mm -hmm. how I feel about myself and comparison to like what society deems as like beautiful and whatever. Like, I don't know if I, I necessarily like fall into that category. I feel like maybe you're along the same lines as me. Like I've always, always thought I was cute. Yeah. I think I'm cute for sure. Definitely. Right, and I never thought I was hot. Mm -hmm. I thought I could go to a club and not stand in line, but I never thought I would get them for free. Right, so there's but despite the nights that we have gotten in for free, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but I don't think in the end we got in for free because we were so hot. We got in for free because one, yeah, we did look good, we were cute, yeah, we were cute, we knew how to dress, and we had personalities, so yeah. we had made friends with everyone that worked at these bars and we were way yeah. too regular and we went all the regular. time. So the I word. think that's what it was for us, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And we never caused problems. And we weren't we well! never we never we never got dragged out. Right? Dragged out, no. Exactly. So <laughs> there was no you know? Yeah. Yeah, so I never thought I was hot, so I can never say I can't say that I was ever like I ever got a job because I was pretty yeah. I know I got a job because I was cute so I guess you know I, I guess I fall into the pretty category the pretty yeah I just don't fall into the hot category so yeah I got some privileges just not all the privileges which sounds horrible to say now that, but it's because we're we're thinking about it I never yeah. thought about this yeah. before I've never a thought this that is... crossed my mind ever before like yeah. I mean the concept of like uh but I definitely didn't. I knew it was the hot thing. The, f the idea of ugly privilege is like brand new to me. Like I said, like so a couple like an days ago. Yeah. Until you hear about it. <laughs> yeah. So essentially, the idea of pretty the pretty privilege is that like a person benefits based on their looks. So they might get higher paying jobs. They might get a job over somebody who looks less attractive. Get they're, for free. They're, yeah, they things might get things free. for free. They might be seen as having more positive qualities, such as like they might be, because of their attractiveness, they might be seen as innocent. So that might work in their favor. If they committed a crime, they would get a lesser sentence. Whereas someone who is seen as less attractive would get the opposite of that. Like they would get more harshly sentenced. They would be less likely to land a job that they would want. And if they did get a job, they would be possibly paid less. If they committed a crime, they would be sentenced harsher. And generally not attractive people are not seen as having positive qualities. They may be seen as like lazy, or if you're seen as overweight, which I mean, fat phobia exists that where people would perceive somebody who is heavy as like lazy or having other negative qualities that someone who is more attractive would not be perceived as. This concept of ugly privilege, however, they're saying that privileges of being ugly and this ugly word, like that's all- I know, it's like, so like- ugh, It's, it, that's, that's not even like, ugh, it's just an ick. Like, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. But to be, benefiting from this ugly privilege that they're calling it. You're able to walk around in public and not be bothered by run people. In the park, you can go to the gym. Exactly. You can, I don't know, go out and just live your life just and not have anyone life. speak to you. Right. No one's gonna cat call you. No one's gonna pay any mind to you. So it's perfect. You can go places and- Completely unbothered. Yeah. Like, Which sounds great. Oh my God, so great. But then I think the <laughs> issue that I have is like, so you're saying, okay, yeah, great. You can go all do all these things. You can go out at night, you can do whatever. Okay, first of all, any any woman across the board, whether you're perceived as pretty or ugly, 
should be able to feel safe going out at night. Like that's that shouldn't well, even be a shitty, problem. But it, that's not the world we live in. No, so it's not. It's but then, an ugly, ugly, right? It's an ugly privilege. But then also, it kind of paints this light that like only good-looking people are the victims of sex crimes, which is not the case. Not like, sex crimes, ev- but everyone... in terms of being ad- abducted and murdered, generally, like, if you look at the pictures, there's there's usually an MO. It'll be like, like, not everyone, but some people, it's like only girls that are blonde hair, blue eyes, and way between this. They all have like the same. So they have their perception of like a serial killer will have their perception of what they think is attractive and that mm-hmm. is basically the mold for yeah. every other girl which is basically the same as society it's like hey this is the the this is who we think production this is who we think this body type is what is hot this is what is beautiful this is what everyone should emulate which everyone is doing right now you mm-hmm. know what i mean and then so it does i'm not yes a lot of people do get sexually abused and all that stuff but a lot of times where because it's someone that's not fitting the mold. It's someone who's also easily accessible to the predator. It's someone who is already there. It's like, it's a psychological thing. It's, me- yeah. it's their mentality. Oh, they're easy. They're here. They're under my care. They're they're um, just happen to be in jogging in the park at that whatever. time. Yeah. yeah, but it has nothing to do. Usually, people are going to target someone that they find attractive or they have that in their mind but this is the thing like i feel like with when you're dealing with when you're talking about like sex crimes and like random like rapes and assaults that happen to women it's not about an attraction thing it's a control thing like they're not necessarily looking for the most attractive person they're just looking to exert their control on a hu- another human being so it has nothing to do with whether that person is attractive or not they just but have to be in the wrong place record. at the wrong time but when you look at their track record they always choose because other people will come through and yeah it's the wrong like that specific person that they chose it's the wrong place at the wrong time but generally you'll look at their mo and it's always someone who looks the same like relatively the same if you're looking at like if you're looking at serial like rapists and killers yeah but if it's like somebody who's just like standing at the corner of i don't know gerard and wherever and they're just like trying to attack anybody any female that comes by that has they have the opportunity to do so yeah but then you can say that about anything like but then that but it we're not talking about the one-offs like we're yeah. talking about like yeah i just for me like i just feel the like generalization I, of it yeah i just yeah i feel like i it takes it when when they say oh because I'm ugly, I can get away with like. I think that's my life. horrible. Like, like, I don't like that. No, I, think I don't think shit. that's okay. Yes, I agree with you on that 100. percent I don't think that that's one. It's shitty that someone should feel like should even be able to say, "Oh, it's ugly privilege." Like, yeah. Like, why is that even? The why thing? do you think you're ugly? And is it because you've been told that? Is it because that's what society <laughs> says? Like, I'm sure if you slapped on 10 pounds of makeup, you'd look just as good as the girl who has a 10 pounds yeah. of makeup and you know what I mean she's not actually that pretty she's just painted herself that right. way do you know what I mean so Perception why do you think that everything. yeah like why do you think that you're and I'm sure if I plastered on a whole bunch of makeup like I know anytime that I have gotten my makeup done I've always I I think like I look in the mirror and I look like someone different like I don't look like me and that's why just for me personally I enjoy not wearing makeup someone who enjoys wearing makeup great good for you perfect but i love makeup i personally just yeah exactly (laughs) i personally just don't care for it for me right a lot of people i think almost every single one of my friends wears makeup yeah and doesn't leave house without it (laughs) i'm the only i'm the only person who does it yeah it's true right and that's okay it doesn't bother me i don't feel any less attractive next to simone because i'm not wearing makeup and i think that's yeah the thing that it sucks that people are gonna say that they're ugly yeah and ugly privilege it's like and depending on like where you live like that idea of like what's attractive what's unattractive changes like i was talking to you earlier about that tiktok video where the girl was talking about how she benefited from ugly privilege because her parents had a different set of rules for her as opposed to her sister yes which, number one fuck you parents like that's horrible because then you just it's like so it's like so what do you love that one less yes. like what like because they're not seen as attractive you, because you, you thought they weren't girls. attractive yeah like that that was horrible in the first place so this girl was talking about how like when she was growing up her parents were really strict with her two sisters and she never really had any of those restrictions like she was able to go out um 
late at night. Like she was able to hang out with guys and no problem from her parents. And then like her sisters had different sets of rules and they weren't, you know, they, they, they were they were under like lock and key. And she didn't understand why. And she didn't understand why. And then she was like, oh, it's because they didn't think that I was attractive. But I did some digging and I found out, so this girl was actually, uh, she is biracial and she was adopted by a white family mm. and grew up in an all white area. And I think what happened there is that her adoptive family was a little bit racist. Well, because, um, so and when you say all those things, yeah, and you put all like, okay, so she was adopted, she was biracial, and everyone else in the community where she lived was basically predominantly yeah. white. So, because well, of that, she was perceived as unattractive. But when you look at her, she's a, she's a cute girl, like, but then that also makes her a target because then there's that whole like, well, she was, well, she was very cute, yeah, in my eyes, yeah, I thought um, so, but. She would become a target because she's almost an aphrodisiac. Like she's the only one. She's so exotic, the only one in the area that was. Yeah. You know, and then that yeah. would make her a, a meanwhile sorry, her parents an are like, target. Yeah. On her back, like for predators, like. Yeah, and her parents were like basically <laughs> serving her up on a platter, yeah. like take her if you want, like no, <laughs> put an no apple rules. in her mouth. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, and just loaded her up on the freaking Spitfire, like. Yeah. Geez. So that I was like so like hurt in my heart by hearing that like just as like a parent I was just like how could anyone think that that was okay whether you gave birth to that child or you adopted that child that's your child and you're thinking eh, they'll be fine mm -hmm. they're not mm -hmm. cute like yeah how do you even think that like that to me it was just no like, risk oh. like yeah she was she was able to go to all the parties so you thought she was never gonna like sleep with anyone she didn't they didn't give her the no uh, sex, talks, sex talk nothing using protection none of that but they gave it to her sisters so she just thought that they thought that she was responsible mm -hmm. later in adulthood she finds out no it's we just didn't think they we didn't have to worry about yeah it exactly they weren't as attractive mm -hmm. what meanwhile oh my god but, okay you know what even if you thought that why would you even why would you even admit that to her like that's horrible i don't know if they actually admitted that i think that she yeah. just came to that revelation no so she said um we were at a family friend's house, and the family friend said, oh, like, it came up in conversation. She's like, yeah, they just thought I was really responsible, blah, blah, And they're like, no, they, they didn't worry because they didn't think that you were, like, as whatever. Oh, and then she was like, what? That. And then the parents were like, then the parents agreed and said, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. So that's how she found out. And yeah, I don't that that's like, what it was because yeah. family friends and then the parents agreed. So I think, ugh, I hate... Obviously, it's society that has created this, and I think yeah. it's crazy that anyone would even have to think that they're ugly and have ugly privilege. I also think that some people will say that it's ugly privilege, but they're not. Like, one, you're, anyone who you sent me a video and said, like, oh, they weren't even privilege. ugly, were, in my opinion. Like, they weren't, like, that. They weren't, uh, not that I just sound horrible, but they weren't, like, deformed or they weren't, like, uh, you know, like some disfigurement or whatever, you know, like there wasn't any of that. Traditional ideas of yes. ugly. There we go. Traditional ideas of ugly, they were not exhibiting any of those. So no, they were just like me. Like normal, normal regular people. Right? So it, like, it's just crazy that they didn't think that because then it's also like, so does that factor into your self esteem as well? Do you feel bad about yourself because you think that no one's looking at you? But then Maybe well, it just... has to be because if you're perceiving yourself as ugly, that means that you perceive yourself as unattractive. But so it then... might just be that because you think that you think that no one's paying attention to you. Because there's a lot like I don't. I've always thought of it as cute, yeah. But I also it never. I never cared for someone who had a crush on me. Someone who like I didn't look for it. I didn't care. It mm -hmm. wasn't. You know. Yeah. It wasn't something that I valued. So when people did have a crush on me or people did hit on me or people did i didn't it notice like surprising it. right no it wasn't surprising at all because i didn't know what happened until someone a day or two later was like oh remember that night whoever said this and this and this to you and i was like oh really they're like yeah they asked for your number i was like what? Yeah. how and i was you know like, like somebody's like oh they're like flirting with you and you're like who 
what? yeah how so maybe it's just a matter of they never notice that someone's watching them or yeah. they got a nice booty and they're running down the street like you she know because they said they're in the park yeah she but nice booty. <laughs> <laughs> I do <didn't do> <laughs> but you know what I mean like maybe they just never noticed because it wasn't something that they thought because they perceived themselves as ugly or less like less not than. meeting like society's standards of beauty which are like completely based in like colonialism and like white supremacy and all that stuff all that stupid shit that it shouldn't be based on like but there's set eight billion people in the i remember when i used to say there's seven billion people in the world there's eight billion people in the world yeah okay there's someone for everyone yeah and there's many a someone for everyone i think yeah this whole like standard beauty calculation thing is complete and utter bs in 2021 it's so stupid and like i mean we have people who are pan and if they don't see if they don't see uh gender they don't see anything other than a person then why are we still confining ourselves to what is pretty and what is ugly yeah exactly why can't we just be like right. okay fine you you're more attracted to one gender than the other great good for you but you shouldn't and the fact that people are actually like being uh their life is in detriment because of their the perception of them being unattractive is extremely problematic or being in danger because you're you're perceived as attractive like, right i didn't ask for it yeah it's well, not I... anything that you can control really yeah that's the worst like, on a that's baseline no one controls how they look and how they come into this world like your genetics are what control how you look and that's that and don't even try to sit here and be like oh plastic surgery that's after and not everyone can and afford. it gets botched okay. yeah it can get botched also not everyone can afford the whole show to <laughs> not everyone can afford to go and get whatever they feel they would benefit from getting whether it's injections or surgery mm -hmm. So you can't even say, oh, you can just go out and do that because that's and not it doesn't even... work for everyone. No, in it terms doesn't. Of your if your called? face, your is... self esteem, your self esteem yeah. doesn't change just because you've gotten something fixed. Because now this thing that wasn't there originally now is there, and you thought it was going to make you happy, you thought it was going to make you attractive, but now you feel like everyone's watching you because you got fake boobs. And now you're like, ooh, are they only looking at me because of my fake boobs right. or my my nose job or my or you're chasing a certain whatever. Like, you're chasing a certain physical ideal of beauty, and you surgery can only do so much with the bone structure that you have, and then it changes. So if you are looking to look like a certain someone, and your bone structure on your face is not going to support that you're still not going to look like how you want it to look. So you're still going to be sad at the end of the day. You're still going to be in your mind, oh, I'm ugly. Well, so but then beauty standards change like dirty underwear. So, well, my dirty underwear real quick. So <laughs> then yeah. you're stuck with the space that you've now, or body or whatever that you've now emulated. And now it's emulated. 2021 and it doesn't matter anymore. Nobody yeah. cares about that. And yeah. you're stuck with this And now we like skinny, we like really, really skinny people that have no body. Oh We're back God. to the original models. All those beauty you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, yeah. So, yeah, work on, go to therapy. Everyone just needs to go to therapy, okay? And love yourself for Do that who you work. are, what you are. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know, maybe it's my age, maybe because I'm in my 30s now, I'm just like, oh, I don't even care. Like, who cares? Obviously, you know, uh, teenage years were hard because all the hormones and all, yeah. the, you're, you're just changing and all that good stuff. Like, that's a hard time. It's hard to hear that when you're a teenager, that like, but, it doesn't matter. Because all you can think about is like your how you're perceived and how your peers see you and whether... You definitely, know. like, 19, 20, 21, I was like, I have no boobs. I'm never going to have boobs. And I'm too chicken shit to ever get a boob job. So this is who I am. Love it or leave it. And I think that's when I started, like, after, obviously after my teen years, was when I started being like, this is who I am. That's what it is. Yeah. I've always had a long nose. I've always thought I've had a long nose. I'm never gonna get a nose job. And have you ever seen rhinoplasty like that shit? Like, uh, well, no. It depends they, on the surgeon that you they get. Would've, they would've like, huh? my nose is so big. Like, no, you know? So love my nose. I don't, I can't it's say It's so I, funny because- I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Like it's it's just my nose, it's just my nose. Yeah. 
I don't. And there's nothing. I was just gonna say, like, it's so funny because we're going on about your nose, but I don't see anything wrong with your nose at all. No, I don't. I've, I've never. It's so funny. I've never cared. And it, people, I've offended. I've offended people with my nose because they'll be like, "Oh, remember how?" In another video, I'm not sure which one. I'll just link anyone right here. But um, <laughs> in another video, I, I had touched on that. People were like, "Oh, are you Jewish?" And they just oh, yeah. assume that because of my nose, which is the, the dumbest thing, because you're just making a stereotype now. But whatever. And I go, oh, is it because my nose? And then they're like, uh, 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 mm. Because then they're like, I can't believe she said that. I didn't yeah. think she would. But it's like, realistically, that's... That's exactly why. Yeah. Right? Which is unfair. And then cause... they get offended by it. And then I'm just like laughing because I'm like, this is a stupid idiot. Like, I just made you feel... Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I made you feel away. You played yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, you know what? It's the youngest of five thing. Uh, I, I heard so much. I think that it just... I had tough skin and I just didn't yeah. care. There's nothing you could say to me that my, my brothers didn't say to me, so. Uh -huh. I'm I, I'm thankful for that because I never went home and cried about not having boobs or. Yeah. I was blessed with a butt. I've always had a nice butt. And I can't say I was blessed with it because I mean, yeah, I had it in my teen years, but that's also when I was running mission on my rollerblades and I lived down at the bottom of the hill, so I had to roll up that steep hill like every day to run these missions. So <laughs> I worked for it and it's just stayed. <laughs> That whole like building your muscles when you're a teen. Thing. Yeah, there you go. I built them right. Building a booty at seventeen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, love yourself. Yeah. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The things that you perceive as imperfections, only you have those. So love them and know that you're unique. <laughs> let us know what you think. Let us know how you feel. <laughs> What she there. said. <laughs> Comment, like, uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.